Hey everyone, it's Greg from Stationary Shenanigans. Happy Friday. Um, I just wanted to do some quick journaling about my weekend trip to Philly, which I think was two weekends ago when I had a chance to go to the Traveler's Company partner shop, Omoizaka. So it's been a long week, so let's just sit down and do a little bit of journaling. What I've been doing lately is tr just setting like a small goal for myself, and I just gathered some ephemera that I wanted to put into my traveler's notebook and not really think about what I was going to write or how long it was going to be or what it was going to look like. I feel like this is the only thing that kind of keeps me consistent with my traveler's notebook is no longer having this like grand idea in mind, right? Just doing a little something. And because my camera is crazy, it looks like it zoomed out a little bit and I didn't realize it, so I apologize. Good thing you couldn't see my messy hair in the frame here. Um, so I'm just using my writing board. This is my regular traveler's notebook I've been using, this blank paper. And while I was at the store, I did get a partner stamp, which you can see here. And then that sticker is from the store's packaging. So I quickly put it in my notebook when I was doing my uh, haul video, which you can go ahead and watch if you're interested to see what I purchased from this partner shop. Off the bat, the scissors that I'm using here, the Penco ones, uh, those were something that I purchased from the shop. And actually this Uniball Jetstream that I've been loving to write with, even uh, for work papers. So I am putting the date. I didn't realize that when you get a stamp, there's like a little box to put the date in. And, you know, since we're all perfectionists, especially when it comes to stationery, I didn't want to write it when I was there because, I don't know, I just wasn't thinking like that. I wanted to do it when I was sitting down. So here I'm just going to journal a little bit about uh, the experience. And after we left the stationery shop, we had gone to the Museum of the American Revolution. So I had saved the map from it, and I'm going to use my Penco scissors with the rubber grip to cut out a picture of George Washington's tent, which is on display at the museum. And you kind of sit through a theater and watch a little um, video about it, and then they reveal it behind a glass, uh, big glass window. I don't know, we thought it was cool, but we also thought you would have been able to like walk around or maybe like look inside. I guess because of how old it is, it can't be like up where people can touch it. Plus it has all those ropes and stakes in the ground. So um, it was an interesting story on its preservation. So I just put that in my traveler's notebook here. I decided to cut out something else from it. I didn't really like any other pictures to be honest, or the map. So I'm just cutting out the name of the museum and then I'm going to paste it in with my Tombow. Um, actually, what's that called? Glue? Sticker? I, my brain is just fried from <laughs> the past few weeks. Monday is my last day at my um, college job for the summer semester. So, yeah. So I'm using this Tombow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and paste it in, write a little bit about it, and then paste in the tent.
So I also see the little um, thing from the scissors, and I just thought it was funny because it says rubber, R-U-B-B-A, and I just love that. So I'm thinking of a way to put this into my notebook here, and I decided I didn't want to put it on the page with the American Revolution stuff, so I was like, why don't I make it so it's it lifts up so you can read what I wrote underneath? So I'm going ahead and finding some washi tape to use. That's one of my favorite things to do when you don't want to cover something up. So I'm using this graph paper, well, I call it graph paper, washi tape, just because I like it kind of like along the theme of the stationery store. And I'm going to go ahead and cut a little bit off with those scissors and put it next to the stationery store sticker. And then you can lift it up and still read what I had written underneath. Then I'm taking this uh, red, white, and blue striped uh, washi tape, which I think is actually from Dollar Tree that I got a long time ago. Um, so the thing about non-branded washi tapes and low quality ones is that it's hard to take them back off the paper. You can't always rely on that. And as you can see here, see here I'm being careful. I dropped a little piece of it and it got stuck to the sticker and I can feel like it's gonna damage it. So I was careful to remove it. Most good washi tape, you could just take off paper and not have to worry about it ripping. So, And I'm just adding a little red, white, and blue line at the bottom of this page, which of course you cannot see because my camera was not where I wanted it to be, story of my life. And then I'm taking one of these little stamps from Michael's that says, love this place. And at first I was going to use the Distress Ink stamps, which I... There's something about them that makes me nervous because they're not fully, what's the word, opaque? Or um, they look distressed, which I didn't know when I bought them because I'm still really new to stamping and ink pads in general. I thought I was going to use the gray one, and then I just went with the <laughs> black one that, you know, you use at office jobs, just plain old <laughs> black stamp pad. I think I used to use these when I was a bank teller and I had to stamp things. And I'm just putting the love this place next to the Omoizaka sticker because I love this place, go figure. And then I wanted to put a stamp on the American Revolution page and I went ahead and got this photography one because I did take, take some pictures, but I just like the photography, like I just like the way the camera looks in the stamp and I'm stamping it on top, partially on top of the washi tape. I don't know if it's gonna smear. Um, because it's not like authentic washi tape and it kind of has like, it doesn't have a matte finish to it. It does have kind of a glossy finish. So I don't know if it would hold the ink, but I'm not touching it in case that it does dry and won't actually smear. So went ahead and did that. And I think I'm satisfied with this spread. I just did two pages today. I wrote about the museum. I cut some ephemera from that little red, white, and blue moment. I got my partner stamp, my sticker something from one of the items I bought, and I wrote about it a little bit, and I like how it lifts up. That's something I love to do, like I said. And yeah, we don't always have to make big, grand things or really plan it out. Oh, and then this is, and I, I know I've shown one before. I'm actually looking for it now. I don't remember where I had it, but this is that Japanese chocolate that I really liked, and I had seen a, a new one. Um, the one with the red packaging, which was high milk chocolate. And I don't know if it tasted any different than the regular milk chocolate. It was still really good. And I always recommend this chocolate to people if you like smooth milk chocolate. So I'm just gonna cut it out. And I decided to put it next to the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same washi tape, the plain white MT tape, and kind of just uh, tape it next to it.
And that's it for me today. Thank you so much for journaling with me. I hope you were able to do something along with me, or maybe after watching this, you'll go ahead and do something in your notebook. And I hope you have a good weekend. Take care.